does such a good job every time he goes in there. I was always very confident when I had a guy fighting and he was a referee because he does a good job. Confident that you'd get a clean fight. That, that's all I'm looking for, a guy that doesn't make mistakes. No. Low blow by oh, Carr. Mercanti warns him. No. Carr with a tendency to fire low blows. He was guilty of the same transgression against Trinidad and against Daryl Coley. Carr's got power. He put Trinidad on the canvas. He followed the career of the spectacular Puerto Rican welterweight. You know that he has been subject occasionally to the early knockdown, as was the case for De La Hoya earlier in his career. Well, Overcar is not really known as a one-punch knockout-outer, if there's a, such a word in the English language. He but, just uh, invented it. He has to uh, really put them together for him to hurt you. That's true of most fighters, of course. It's true of Forte as well, although what's fearsome about Forte is his ability to put all those punches together in rapid flurries. Well, when nothing else is happening, scoring points with that left jab. Come on, stool, goddammit! Sit down! Sit down! Listen, listen. You're boxing them good, okay? You're boxing them real relaxed, all right? Your jab done got strong in that round, okay? You're real relaxed now, okay? Keep jabbing like you're jabbing, buddy. Just keep stepping like you're stepping, stepping over here and stepping over, all right? You ain't got to load up on the punch, all right? I love it. But you need to run the combination. I want you to get into the stomach area. Okay. Follow him at all times. Don't give him any breathing space. Follow him wherever he goes. Follow him. Stick to the body punches. It's very, very important. See, you're not, you're not giving him too many body punches. Okay, make sure you give him the body punches. Boy, right. the ring. The ring. Okay, throw some more jabs. Obakar, like the great Muhammad Ali, first took up boxing as a very young boy, and he had a bicycle taken away from him by a bigger boy, and he went to his dad and said, I'd like to learn how to fight. His dad had done some boxing in the Marines and got started over right away. Carr going to the body there, and back to the body with the right hand. Good combination there by Carr, but again, Arthur McCanty talks to him about low blows. Carr is throwing that right hand to the body and come, trying to come back with that left hook. You can see the difference in strength in the two fighters, though, when they do get closer. Forte is by far the stronger individual. Again, you see him coming in the straight line, but he's got those hands up. He's making Carr work all the time. He's very adept at picking off punches with his gloves. He has been allowing some of those right hands to the body to land, though, and that could work for Carr over a long period of time. But it's much easier to go forward than to go back with uh, Jim. If Carr continues to go backward, he's going to get tired as the fight goes on. Nice combination by Carr. And you see Corte right back on top of him again. His plan is to just wear him down. Corte backing Carr up and slamming the left hook to the head. And what started those combinations for Corte was the fact that Carr tried to fight him. He loves that when you try to fight him. He comes right back and puts you in your place, lets you know he's the boss. And again, you see him using his strength on the inside. And remembering to go to the body. His corner asked for that between rounds, but he hasn't been doing that much of it. Crowd loved the car combination, but Corte blocking two of the punches with his gloves. Quarte makes it awfully tough for you to land upstairs, Gil. Yeah, but he is landing effectively. He is trying to do what he said he would, which is to wait 
for Corte to stop punching and then go with a combination and get out. Uh, I think this is a very good round for Carr. If he can follow started. this plan, he's got a shot. Yep, and it all started with those right hands to the body that changed the tempo of the bout just slightly early in that round. Uh, I, I gave a slight edge to Carr in that round, but he had to work so hard to earn that round. He backed up through his combinations, but again, Forte's strategy is to beat him up and wear him out. When you get close to him, don't stand right in front of him, okay? When you get close to him, just get down, all right? Don't let him get a shot at you like that, okay? Sometimes you stay right in front of him for too long. As soon as you hit him, you have to duck. You have to do that at all times. Don't and don't forget, don't drop your gut. It's very important. You know, he's hitting below the belt a few times. Tell him the one. Oba means king in some African dialect. And here you see a royal royal combination, three punches. One did get cleanly through. That one. Oba Carr has gone 10 rounds or more 10 different times in his career. A lot of experience in long bouts. And that's probably going to cost him a point. Ultimate gentleman, Mercanti. No point deduction so far. Not up to this point. Apparently just a warning. Well, that surprises me because it was a point, a punch that really uh, hurt uh, Forte and it could have an effect on the fight. Surprises me too. Maybe a small break for Carr. Let's see if he's able to take advantage of it in some way. All right, Harold Letterman, how did you have the first three rounds? Larry, three to nothing, 30 to 27, uh, I caught hey, But I want to talk about that, that uh, stoppage there. Arthur McCanty made a crucial mistake. He never stopped the clock. He let I caught hey, take a rest and killed one minute of the fourth round. I didn't think it landed a minute. Almost uh, a minute. But I have it two rounds to one for Corte. And Carr was wobbled a little bit by that short left hook. Didn't look like much of a punch, but the leg shook. And now, he takes a point away from Forte for holding Carr behind the head. So no deduction for Carr for the low blow, but a point deducted from Forte for holding Carr behind the head. All of that here in round four. Shouldn't that require some kind of a warning as well? Absolutely. I, I've very seldom seen a fight where uh, a guy gets put penalized the point the first time uh, that he grabs a guy behind the head. I remember when Ali fought Frazier, the thriller in Manila, he must have held Joe Frazier behind the head 50 times. And Padilla just kept warning him, but never took a point away. Here the first time. And the point is taken away. That surprises me, too. Well, it seems particularly unusual in light of the fact that Carr got two separate warnings for low blows. They trade shots at close range. That mouse under Obercar's left eye is getting progressively larger with each passing round. And Quarte is starting to open his hands up a little bit and accept more punishment in return for the chance to deal more out. You're right, Jim. He's starting to brawl. He, he doesn't want to just stand there and let Carr dictate what Carr wants to do. He wants to impose his strength more. Let's see if he can. 